Hello and welcome to Sort Expert. In today's video, we will see how we can create a live streaming WordPress website using Elementor. And sorry for my long delay, I was ill and I am still ill, but uh, we'll try to manage this video. So the website that we will be creating in this video, as I said, is a live streaming WordPress website where we will have a podcast, video podcast, audio podcast. And other than that, there are lots of features of this theme. And let me show you quickly, you can see we can have live video streaming. That will look like this. And this is also compatible with a bunny stream. You can scroll down here. You can see bunny storage in full zones. And the team also have WooCommerce integrated, so you can sell products if you want to. And it also comes up with Micrate. You can scroll down and you can learn more about this Micrate. You can have different type of video advertisements, video in audio quizzes. This theme has light and dark version, as you can see here. And we will see the live demo later on. And this is the smart post submission form. Here you can see video, audio and post. We can upload files and so on. Then we have a smart player with all type of functionalities like the video quality, audio, full screen and so on. And then we have different type of channel features that we will see on the live website. And again migrate with strong support of migrate add-ons like we can buy create, sell content, transfer, coupons and so on. Then we have one click demo import that we will be importing in this video. We have smart filter so we easily create multiple filters terms with Elementor that we will cover later on. And we have different type of widgets like smart query support, vigilation, metric content viewers and so on. Then we have membership so if you want you can create free and fair memberships that people will join to view an audio or video. And we can auto fetch data from different platforms like YouTube, Vimeo or Dailymotions and so on then these are the main features that you can learn and you can just follow the link in the description to learn more about this theme and now let's see a live demo of this website that we will be creating in this video so this is the website that we will be creating in this video here we have lots of features that i'll try to cover and as i said this theme also have the light version so you can switch to light or dark version based on your needs first of all we have this bar you can open this and you can see we have home gaming movies sports entertainment and so on and we also have trending history notification and so on this is just like youtube and then we have subscriptions and we can load more here and if i close this and then we have a logo and a live search bar here you can see we can type different things we can search for that and then we have these icons like we can go live from this place we can create a post directly from here we can see our notifications watch later we can have card like to buy and sell products and then purchases membership plans settings and profile so you can keep the things that you need and you can remove the unwanted things as well and then we have this main section where we have this watch now button we have the title and uh, we can scroll down we have different categories that we can play on mouse hover okay so these are the categories that will link to a specific page with specific posts okay same goes for these and this is limitless you won't see the footer you can see the footer here and, and now if i click go live then you can see you will need to log in to create a live stream you don't have permission to live stream we will see this later on in the live website okay if i click this plus here a user can submit a post to us like a video audio or a post if i switch to post i can write the titles description and so on and for the audio we can upload an audio file and for the video we can upload a video file so with this people can submit post and we can approve it on our website okay now let me open up any of these episodes so you can see we have this video and then we have this channel name the description of the video tags and we can go next and previous and then we have a sidebar also and if i scroll down you will see this proper player that will be displaying this video if i play this this is the built-in video player here and you will also see the video here you can close this and then we have some other channels in the sidebar and so on so this is a complete solution for a live streaming website and there are lots of features of this theme here you can see we have different type of home pages we can have different styles for the videos for the video ads live comments video quizzes and so on you can explore all these pages by going to the link in the description same goes for the audios and here you can sell media like you can have shop like woocommerce you can sell with migrate then we have buddy press so you can have uh, different type of groups and memberships and these are some elements available like different headers post layouts pagination single posts and so on then we have different type of channels and this is the mega menu if you want to have a mega menu like this you can enable this 
so let's see how we can get this theme and how we can set this up so to get the theme just follow the first link in the description which will take you to this page here you can see the theme title with more video wolf is theme you can learn more about this theme and this is the price this is one time fee you can pay this once and then you can use this theme for a lifetime and to buy the theme just set it to cart and then go to checkout and here you can pay for this theme by using your visa mastercard or paypal so just select your payment method and click pay securely and once you pay for the theme this will take you to your downloads page where you can download this theme okay so just go to download and click on these two files installable wolfish files download it and also you will need the license code so just download both of these files and once you download both the files you will get files like these this is the purchase code and this is the theme file now we just need to upload this to our wolfish and now to create any website the first thing you need is domain and hosting and domain will be your website name which will be unique and after typing your url your domain name people will land on your page for example if i open a new tab and i type softexpert.pk this will take me to my website and this is because this is my domain name and i have my website here another popular example of domain name are google.com facebook.com youtube.com and so on and hosting in simple words is an online storage where your website files will be stored where you can manage your domain your databases file manager your ssl certificates you can create domain name emails and you can also create subdomains add-on domains and so on and there are multiple platforms that provide you domain and hosting. The one I would recommend is hostinger.com. There is a discount link in the description. Once you go there, it will take you to this page. And here you can get a normal hosting or a WordPress hosting. As we are creating WordPress website, so that's why I'm on WordPress page. And the reason for suggesting this hosting is the pricing. Here you will get a free domain, free website migration, 24 hour support and so on. And if you want to check the pricing plans, you can scroll down here and you can see this is the premium one business and cloud startup and here you can also notice the pricing here on the first plane you can host up to 100 website you will get this amount of storage weekly backups and so on and on this plane you can also host 100 website this is better in speed we have 200 gb of nvme storage a daily backup free emails unlimited ssl and so on you can check these features and you can select the plane that you need and most cases this will be fine for you you can just add this to cart or if you need this one you can add this to cart and it will take you to the cart page where you can see you are almost there complete your order and here you can see the summary of your plane you can scroll down you can buy this hosting for 1 month 12 24 or 48 months so the more time you choose here the more discount you will get here you can see you can save up to 432 usd and uh, you can scroll down you can create a free account here or you can sign up using your facebook or google and then you can pay with credit card paypal google pay and so on and you can see in just 143 you will get a free domain and this hosting for four years okay one more thing is if you are from pakistan the link in the description will take you to stinger.pk and you can again see the pricing in rupees and you can add any to cart and you can see the pricing is just 859 rupees and it also include one year free domain this is for four years which is a good deal and the next thing is you can also pay with easy pesa jazz cash and hbl from pakistan also the alpha wallet is there so you can follow the link in the description and you can get a domain name and hosting and after buying a domain and hosting you will get a dashboard like this this is the domain name and this is my hosting plan you can see business with hosting okay and now let's see how we can install wordpress on our domain if i visit this domain and there is nothing you are all set to go now we just need to install wordpress here okay let's go back and to install wordpress you can go to website and here you will see wordpress if you don't see here you can go to auto installer and you will find wordpress there just click on it and here you can detect wordpress on your domain name i know that there is no wordpress installed in this domain so i can just click on install wordpress and this will open up a pop-up where you can write your website title for example and here you can write admin email and username and password for your wolfish dashboard okay and that's it just click next and here you can choose the wolfish version this is the latest one which is fine you can also select your website language and these are fine and here you can select update to minor version and then click install and that's it this is how you can install wolfish on your domain and now you'll see a different dashboard here you can see now we can edit our website we have this plugin installed and uh, we also have the wolfish latest version the php version and the daily backup is enabled now to go to your wolfish dashboard you can just click on edit website and this is the wolfish dashboard where we can install themes and plugins and we can start creating the website and here we will go to appearance themes to upload their theme okay add new theme 
the float theme you'll choose file and i'll select the theme file we'll open it and install now loaded now we can go ahead and activate it once you activate the theme you can just delete this theme and you will also get a notice about installing these plugins and these are the plugins required for running this theme properly so just click on begin installing plugins then select all then click bulk action install and apply and this will install all the plugins then go back to plugin installer again select all and this time choose activate and apply and all plugins activated we can go back to our dashboard now and this will open up elementor page builder you can connect your elementor account here but for now let's skip this and now we have the theme options like the theme settings theme options video cases cast reports media cds playlists audios videos and so on which means that our themes is successfully installed but still if i visit this website in a new tab there is nothing we just have this channel and we have some items here and we have the menu and that's it now let's see how we can get all the demo content like the one i showed you we will also get a logo the proper episodes and so on so to get that let's go back to the dashboard and here you can go to appearance and you will see import demo data just click on it and then this will take you to its activation page you can see verification server inveto account and then purchase code so this is the purchase code that we can download from theme forest to activate this theme okay so let's activate the theme and open up the purchase code and this is the purchase code that we need so i'll copy it and inveto account your username okay so for that and this is fine which is primary you can choose the second but primary is fine and then just click on verify and you can see thank you for verifying your purchase code which means that the purchase code worked and uh, now we can use all the features of this theme so now if i go to theme options you can see we can now access all the features like the global settings styling header footer blog settings and so on i'll go through these one by one very quickly just to show you and give you an idea then for the rest of the settings and uh, for the rest of the customization you can follow my channel for more videos okay so under global settings we have this rtl mode which is right to left if you turn this on then the website will be from right to left like an arabic language Hebrew language and so on and this is the lazy load for the images number format date format you can choose these based on your needs the breadcrumb and then exclude pages from search result so you can exclude different pages from search result as well then under styling we can change the styling like the full width mode the sidebar settings the color mode which will be light or dark so before that let me show you the website you can see this is now in light mode if i want to switch to dark mode i can switch it there so i'll just enable dark mode and then this is the main color which is white you can change these colors also if you want to let me see the changes for the dark mode now let's check the changes if i refresh you can now see a dark mode on the website okay let's go back same goes for the header you can choose different headers based on your needs like these are the header formats you can see here we have this logo the search bar then we have these icons and the menu here and this is a different look this is a different one and so on so you can pick the one that you need and this is the sticky menu so if i scroll the page the menu will be sticky on the top which is fine this is the header banner you can select an image for the header banner for all the pages and the header banner target so you can link this to a specific page this is the header background which is white and you can change the color you can make it transparent and here you can change the position of a background image if you select an image here text of the logo is logo you can change it or you can upload your own logo by clicking here so the light mode logo will be this which we can upload an image this is for the retina this is for mobile devices and so on and this is for the dark version logo okay so you can upload an image and that will be visible on the dark mode and this is the side menu which you see on the side let me show you in this menu okay you can enable and disable this and this is the default stages of the side menu which is closed you can see this menu is now closed if you make this open and this is how it will look and uh, these are the and this is the default position of side menu which is to the left side side menu navigation so you can change the navigation here and make sure to save your changes after changing something okay then we have footer settings so you can add your copyright text here like something like this okay and then save changes this is the blog settings so you can change the look of your blog posts by clicking any of these and then we have options for the menu styles 
and all these settings are related to the blog that you can enable and disable based on your needs then we have single post so here you can design the single post settings you can change the header and you can change these options we have search settings author settings this is the 404 page so if a page doesn't exist or a user visit a wrong url this will show that 404 page okay and under typography you can change the font family the font sizes the font colors and so on and then we have import and export so you can import and export these settings to another website if you are using the same theme so these are some theme settings and uh, then we have the theme settings here like video settings audio settings channel settings and so on you can visit any of these like the channel settings and here you can do the required changes like the channel page the username replace author by username and so on and the most important one here is this live streaming so we'll click on it and here you can write the wc stream username the first world and you can record it or not you can turn on your webcam here these are the rules and then enable tiny mc you can enable and disable these based on your needs by the way to learn more about these options in detail you can visit the theme documentation let me show you so this is the theme documentation you can see in very much detail and i will provide this link in the description as well so you can go to theme options and you can learn more about these theme options you can go to video advertisement and you can learn more about ads same goes for the youtube api keys if you want to so for that you will have to go to google console and you will have to enable some apis here like these so everything here is in much detail you can just follow the documentation and you can do the settings that you want to and you can see all the topics are covered here okay so there is a link in the description to this documentation as well and now if you want to import the demo content you can go to appearance and go to import demo data and then scroll down and you can see just click on import demo data okay this will import all the demo content that i showed you in the start of this video i'm not doing it because we are adding our own videos and audios and this will make our website very loaded so that's why i'm not importing the demo content in this video but this is very simple you just need to click a button here okay and once you import this demo data you will get a website like this okay so if you select home page one you will get this home page and if you select home page two you will get another one but you will get all this data on your domain that you can customize okay so this was how you can create a live streaming website using wordface and using wordmo theme the theme link is in the description and you can customize this using elementor as well and if you want to learn more about wordface and elementor just visit my channel i have lots of videos about wordface and elementor and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next